Hello, 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 beautiful people. Welcome back to episode number two of Raging Echoes. In the last video, in the first ever episode, we unlocked our fourth relic. We are now a proud owner of Animal Wrangler, Dodgy Deals and Corner Cutter, Clue Compass and of course Reloaded. The plan for this video is just to knock out as many tasks as we possibly can. And I'm gonna start this video off by training thieving to 65 and then completing some simple tasks. As you can see, this bandit area is pretty damn nice with a pickpocket relic. Good money, amazing XP, and I don't need to even do anything, so I like it. But at 65, we start doing some active tasks and start moving to the next area unlock, but also further relic unlocks. Okay, looks like the boys have lured in some manified thugs. We're gonna pickpocket 50 of those. That's gonna be a nice amount of money. Uh, but also nice amount of XP. Jagex, I've pickpocketed a Manified Thug 77 times. It ain't working. Maybe I need to do it whilst knocking them down. But I mean, it's gonna be fine, right? It's not gonna, it's not like we're gonna do this for like forever. So that is my first 70 and I somehow still have not thieved 50 of those guys. I don't really know what I'm doing wrong, but I, I'm sure I'm gonna get it soon. Ah, oh, yeah, see, all you need to do is complain a little bit, and there is 80 pointer for pickpocketing them 50 times. Also, if I do a little bit of running around, I can do my agility top right now, once I get level 30, I believe. Yeah, so let's go ahead and do this one quickly, and then move on to other tasks. We did a whole lap of agility up to 35. I can now also do this, and I think that should be a medium task. In I'm doing it one more time just to make sure. Okay, we're fine. Um, oh, I get two of them. I mean, not that it matters a lot, but uh, cashing this in is also a task. And yeah, one lap, 37 agility, and I'm just gonna do all the agility tasks that I can whilst having these Sage's Greaves equipped, just so they provide me better value. The higher the level, the more XP I get. And that should be the task. There's 30 points right there. So let's run some agility tops next. Look, it says that I've done two laps, four laps. So like every lap counts as two. I need to learn how to read. This is gonna be much quicker, we take those. And that is 10 laps, thanks for 30 points. Let's do Daddy's Home really quickly. I wonder how much XP this will be, we're 59 fishing, I mean I guess it doesn't matter with our relic choices. We picked up everything, I mean this could be solid. 5000 experience, but most importantly those 30 points out of nowhere, we take those. 3200 construction, we're now 24 construction and we just finished Daddy's Home I guess. And now I can go around and make some stashes. My next quick term plan is to make 15 regular planks, 15 oak planks, and then create all the stash units to just get my construction level a little bit higher. It should be very simple uh, and honestly quite easy to do. Money is not an issue, so that's what we're doing. Cast a blast spell was also just unlocked. We don't mind spending big money on the spells right now. Let's get ourselves hopefully a rune X uh, because that's a bunch of free points that we can get. Oh, life is too easy. We just pulled a rune X. This is exactly what we needed. Rune X, we wield it. That points right there. And now we go chop some willow logs. But before I fully commit to willows, I guess I should probably do oaks first because I need to get 30 fire making so I can burn them after as well. Uh, so while I'm lower level, it's gonna make more sense to do oaks first. That is 30 fire making. We should now be able to burn willow logs. So now I need to chop 100 and then burn 100. We are now 41 woodcutting, already chopped a log with a rune X, which is perfect, that was 30 points right there. And now we need to finish two more inventories, I think, to have 100 willow logs. Added bonus of doing woodcutting in a mass is these events, 30 for spawning the root event is pretty solid. And I think this gives you a decent XP boost in the end as well. That is 100 willow logs chopped, and now we need to burn them all. I hope uh, that it will count the fact that I have tended to the forest campfire. Uh, but who knows, man, who knows? So we're just gonna grab this and a tinderbox and do a little bit of burning. All right, we are done burning the willow logs. I guess we go make 15 tickets next. Okay, so I got 16 Brimhaven vouchers and one agility arena ticket. Huh. This might be faster than I originally expected. All right, last one coming right up. 29 minutes invested into 29 agility tickets. We also got 464 vouchers to go with it. We need 800 of those for a hook, so we're over halfway done for 400 bonus points. So whenever I don't know what to do, I'm just gonna come back here and do some tickets until we have 800 points. But uh, let's analyze here. Is this the task? No, what did I do wrong? 
Don't tell me I made a mistake at some point. Maybe I need to do one more. I'm scared. Oh, we're good. Saved. Bro, I was gonna panic, my guy. I was gonna panic. Okay, we got 30. Everything is good. 80 points. It's saved. Why did I need to do 32? Why am I being called a noob? Anyways, we got it. We got it. So only 300 of these missing until we can get 400 bonus points. So we can come back to this to finish this off very shortly later. But for now, I kind of want to speedrun 36 more tasks to unlock the next area. Okay, nearly two thirds of the way done to the pirate hook is very good. And if I come to pirate Jackie the fruit, I should also be able to buy a snapdragon. So that's a 30 pointer right there. And uh, I'm not going to spend any of those until I have better Karamja gloves. Uh, and once I have 800 of those, I'm obviously going to be buying pirate's hook which is gonna cost 800. So this is just Brimhaven vouchers. And this is agility arena ticket. What if we just use this? I feel like we can just use this and get big agility boost and then our echo boots give us even more XP. I feel like I should just use this. Well, I clicked 50 here and I spent them all on agility XP, uh, but I, we got up to 59 agility. Uh, now in theory, it would be better if I did that while recording, but I thought it wouldn't let me use 50 if I only have 30. But I clicked it and it used it. <laughs> So we're now a proud 59 agility user. That's okay. Let's speedrun some easy tasks. Oh, there we go. Kill a cow in one hit. Yoink. Okay, that is a frog defeated. Let's get a tin and copper to make a bronze bar. Okay, that's me making a bronze bar. There we go. That's an iron bar as well. Quick little genie on the prayer situation. Up to 35. Very good. 5000 XP. That's so good. Uh, but I'm quickly doing a beginner. Okay. And we got ourselves a beginner clue scroll. That should be some points. And we got some cabbages. And it wasn't even points. I should really read what gives points. God damn it, unlucky. All right, moving on. Okay, that's a little bit of tea. We take those. There we go. So that's one task. That's a yoink. Ten tasker right there. Now I'm gonna kill a Calphite Guardian, I think. Okay, there is this guy defeated. That should be some points here. Thank you. Isle of Souls is extremely populated, but yeah, we're just gonna kill a bunch of blue dragons, manually bury the bones, and that should, in theory, get us a little bit more prayer XP. But most importantly, we are killing over 100 combat mobs, which counts towards our mastery. We need to kill 10 of them, well, probably like 8 since we killed like the Tazar and some other things, uh, before we unlock a next range mastery. Let's bury this, 1000 XP. Oh, that's a task as well, 30, 30 task. I mean, 30 points right there. Not bad. It's gonna get yoinked now because the small guy is on me. But if I bury both of those, I think I also unlock my Prey from Magic now. So that's gonna help a little bit as well. I have 18 HP. I don't suspect they can hit this. And there is 38 Prayer as well. Oh, there it is, ladies and gentlemen. We have now earned another Combat Mastery. Let's just pick up this loot. We get a Mithril Kite Shield to go with it. Beautiful. We got a little bit of prayer XP to go with it. We're now nearly 39. So the next will be just done with like lamps, random events, whatever. Like it's just going to happen naturally. Uh, but important part is masteries right now. And as you guys know, we're trying to push six uh, range as fast as possible to get that never missing um, technology. So because of that, we are taking a range two. With this, each subsequent ranged attack has its max hit increased by an additional 5%. Uh, that should be very good. Range two unlocked. And with this, we're now gonna begin our soft slayer journey whilst training our range very quickly. So this should be very easy. And one of the next goals is to get high enough range, 55 slayer, but also be able to kill Scurious, because that's gonna keep giving us range masteries. So let's work on that next. A slightly unexpected 750 total. We're now training ranged and slayer at the same time, trying to get to 28 so I can use Dorgi. Dorgi is gonna be a very good option for us, very cheap option as well for the early game. We are now a proud Dorgashun owner for 30 points and I'm now gonna long range, get a little bit of defense, so beef up the account a little bit. It's gonna be kind of slow right now until I get the next masteries, but I should be hitting much harder, so I'm hoping it's gonna be fine. Probably not doing something very efficient here, but I'm grabbing a task of bears and I've heard uh, very mixed things about this. Apparently this is a horrible task because there is <laughs> one bear south of our rock. <laughs> Can I cancel this? There is no way. <laughs> there is no way. You don't understand. Like, I just had people... Wait! I have 75 points. We cancel this. This is light work. 30 points gone? Bro, we're chilling. What's next? 
That is not bad, I think. I'm down to do this a little bit. I don't think I'll do the whole thing, but I just want to get 20 defense so I can a bunch more tasks and then we move on. We can go back to rapid now. We can equip full mithril. That's a task. We can equip this back now. I was thinking about staying here till 50 ranged. It's a bit of a stretch though, but I need it if I want to defeat Scurious anyways. And then I can get Ava's Accumulator as well, and then the range setup starts to look a little bit better. And I'm working towards 55 Slayer, which is needed in order to get another Mastery unlocked. Maybe we just chill a little bit and train a little bit of Slayer. Maybe I'm gonna change my mind very quickly, I'm not so sure yet. I'm just gonna hypothetically think that High Alk is a task and Alk this. It has to be. Uh, but I do think I'm taking a small pause from combat as soon as I reach 50 range, which is very soon. And there is 50 range, we can now make Accumulator, I think, I'm pretty sure, and put the blue Dehyde set on. So I think at this point is where we should stop combat, work on other things, and then return to it later. Little Teleport gives us 30 points, and now I need to figure out how to make the Squirks work. Okay, did that count? That's a 30 pointer right there. We take those 400 XP, but most importantly, another Squirk. Now we go on to this one. Wait, this one didn't... Yeah, it counted. This one was 10. I guess this one's the easiest to get. That should be a big XP right there as well. I mean, not XP, but like good points. We're now on 1450. That's 80. That is 80. That is what we wanted. Usually, I would stay here and complete every single task from here. I'm not doing the same thing this time around. Like, in the past, I would literally do every squirk task. They take, like, a long time to complete, so I don't want to do this right now. I don't want to, like, quote-unquote, fall behind. I want to unlock my new area, and I want to unlock my new relic. So, let's do more missions. <gasps> oh! There you go, stun a monster. Okay, it worked. I don't know, there was a requirement of 30 defense. I was looking everywhere to find it, but apparently you don't need it. Just buy a blackjack, stun a monster by slapping it in the face. Uh, it's an RNG thing. We can move on, beautiful. We're now level 50 combat as well for some bonus points. Just running, questing, trying to do Spirit of the Elite and Alk at the same time. I don't know if I'm going to be able to complete this quest with my stats. But I'm going to give it a shot or go as deep as I can in this quest, so to say. Crazy. I, I cannot believe this actually ended up working. But I need to bank now for more food. Can you imagine banking in the middle of the Spirit of the Elite quest? So you grab more food. There we go. Catch a salmon. Task in the middle of this quest. And this quest is taking me way too long because my stats are absolutely horrific. Uh, but I think we are through the most annoying part now. So it's just about claiming the reward and getting a bunch of XP. And I think this is also going to finish my prayer situation here. So back to Narda we go. All right. And that's Spirit of the Elite for a ton of prayer XP. Thieving XP, a little bit of magic and access to the Narda shrine. We are now 50 for prayer so much like out of nowhere i think if i pray here that's probably gonna be a task that is in fact a task maybe if i pray some of those it could also be a task i'm not sure yeah protect from melee was a task i'm just gonna click everything i can possibly click and i think we've just completed like a bunch of tasks there so that's really solid uh we are now only 12 80 away or eight tasks away from the next area so we're getting there Okay, we insult Aggie, she steals money from us, we get points, no worries. There is the big 80 thieving, that's gonna be 80 bonus points as well, we're now only a thousand and a hundred and a bit away. I'm gonna go for 81, then we do the two rooms that we unlocked in Pyramid Plunder, and then we start doing other tasks again. I should be able to complete this pretty quickly. Alright, we got 81 thieving, let's do a fast run of Pyramid Plunder and get a bunch of points. Yep, that is plus 30, and that is plus 80. That's what we wanted to do, only 1,000 points away. We can't go into the last room just yet, because we need to have um, 91. So we can leave now, and I think the next thing I'm gonna work on is some hunter tasks. I wanted to buy some blood runes. I don't know how many, but I might as well buy all of them, right? They shouldn't be that expensive, yeah. Buy all of those and buy all of these, and maybe cosmics. Um, this man right here is not gonna make it. There we go. And that's an 80 pointer, by the way. Very nice. I hit a one on that, apparently. Oh, there we go. There we go. Baby gives me 10. And with this one, we can now unlock a new area. So, second area that we plan on unlocking is... I'm not gonna milk it. It's Fremenic. There it is. So, why Fremenic? I am absolutely excited to kill the Echo Variants of the Dagonov Kings, one of my favorite bosses in the game, but also the jewelry. These guys drop are crazy. Amulet of Monarchs, best jewelry in the game, and also Emperor Ring, 
best jewelry in the game. So this is gonna be super good to utilize uh, with our uh, regions here. We're just gonna unlock this immediately. We're not gonna overthink it. Fremenic province, let's just click it. I, it's so such a good region this time around. And now what I wanna see is how many tasks am I missing before unlocking my last area. That's what I'm interested in right now. So that's the Fremi unlocked, beautiful. 200 tasks. I don't think that's too much of a stretch. So basically, I've completed 200 now. I need to complete 200 more. And we have ourselves the last region. If you're enjoying the episode, make sure to subscribe. Okay, it is time for us to build up the camp. And we're also 63 agility out of nowhere. We take those. So we can fully build it up. That should be a bit of tasks as well. But also a little bit of construction XP, which we will take it. Nice, that's everything for 41 construction, which is really good. Can also finish the rest of the stash units if I wanted. I believe if I speak to this guy, I get some extra bonus rewards. And there we go. He gives us a little bit of rewards for building up the entire camp. Thank you. All right, let's see. Will this work or will this not work? First time testing it out. Okay, so it goes like this. I mean, damn, that's not bad. Look at the XP drops, though. Like, that's three times as good as the other thing. Wow, we could really push 99 thieving, but I'm first gonna finish these 830 tasks uh, before doing that. But this is gonna be solid option here. Okay, and that is me thieving a chocolate slice as well. Oh, there it is. That's the wooden stock. I mean, damn, 30 points for this is not bad, you know. I need to get a chisel from here. And then we have done everything we needed to get from here. Ah, there we go. There is the chisel. Okay, so now we've gotten everything. Let's see. I have a feeling this will be a task. Lederhosen hunt. I mean, it's collection log slots. Hey, listen, 30 tasks is 30 tasks, so I guess it's a good idea to save those. Equip all of these three, and we now get 30 points for that. Honestly, not too bad. I'm just gonna throw this in the bank, don't need any of those, and let's go catch some salamanders. XP drop is a little bit better than on the dudes I was just doing. 30 points for catching one, we are catching 29 more. And that is 30 more points for catching 30 of them. Now the play right here is to go all the way to 53, which is very quickly. And then moving on to Chinchompas. That's 53 Hunter. That should be more than enough for now. If we take a look at the Hunter box traps, I can now do Chinchompas. Let's go ahead and catch 50 of those. That is catching one Chinchompa for 30 points. Yep, that worked. That's 80 points, by the way, for just catching 50. There's another one for 500. Let me just see how many points that is. Because no, no, no. I just need to get 110 points. Then I go for the hook. And then we come back to this when we get four percent or four times more xp we're gonna move from eight times xp to 12 times xp so i'm definitely coming back and catching full 500 chins i caught a frozen bird for 30 points now we're catching the saber tooth cat which i also think is a task it was this one okay perfect i thought it was the other one maybe it's for the diary to catch this guy there we go so that's a 30 boom there we go okay 30 points for this apparently I don't know how this is 30 points, but we take those. So that leaves us with less than 400 points to go until we unlock the next relic. I think it is time to go back to agility. Pirate Jackie the Fruit. Let's go ahead and yoink a pirate's hook. I'm just gonna double check. Listen, it's been a long time. Pirate's hook. Equip pirate's hook from Brimhaven agility. This is it. It can't not be it. So let's go ahead and buy this. So that's pirate's hook and let's go ahead and wear this thing. And that should be a massive 400 pointer. I got scared for a second. It was, it didn't pop up, but there it is. 400 league points for this one. We now are over 5,000 total points, doing extremely well. Uh, let's go ahead and unlock the next relic. So, this is gonna be the decision right now. Production Master, if you're taking this, you're honestly trolling, in my personal opinion. It instantly like does everything but i really don't think it's that good compared to what we have available here we have slayer master which is absolutely phenomenal always on task for all eligible monsters unlock all slayer task perks for free you get uh, all of these pouches looting bags and herb sacks you can skip and block tasks for free so you can basically get any task you want and you get a bunch of slayer xp bonus so think of it this way if you have mauritania and you take this slayer helm bonus everywhere but we don't have mauritania i don't plan on going mauritania treasure arbiter ladies and gentlemen sources of clues are now one in 15 clue geodes nests and bottles are found 10 times more often Clue scrolls have the lowest numbers of steps and emote steps no longer require items 
basically I should be able to complete every single clue in as short of a time frame as possible. This is something I want to do. Clue scrolls are easily the most fun content for me in the game. Treasure Arbiter, let's select it. And to top it all off, we're also going to increase our XP multiplier from 8x to 12x. So now it's honestly decently okay to grind for some 99s even that are easy for me to obtain. Let's go ahead and unlock this. There it is. And boom, just like that, we now have a Treasure Arbiter. And we are going to waste absolutely no time. We're going right into some clue scrolls. I just want to demonstrate how dumb this is, by the way. Like, it's really, really stupid. Like, I love this. Clue scroll. I don't even need to look what it is. Boom, I go there. First, I click spade just in case. But this one is to talk to Hans. All right, and that's a casket. I'm going to stack, uh, let's say, 10 at a time. But for this one, let's just open it. Oi, oi, oi. That's beautiful, by the way. Uh, there are, there's, these are unique clues. And we got pantaloons and the black rope tee, which I do think you actually need. Uh, we're gonna wear this as I get it, so let's see, equip a gilded or trained wizard item, 80 points, just for that, beautiful. And then I can just teleport, click S, uh, and we're gonna bang this, just, just, just deposit it somewhere, I don't know, we're gonna put these uniques over here, and these I'm just gonna alk, make a little bit of money, and again, boom, new clue scroll, boom, we go here. And we're just gonna do a few of these, maybe 50, something like that. I have never done 10 clue scrolls this fast before in my life, let's take a look what we get. Oh yeah, I made it right click so I don't misclick. So blue skirt G, that could be a task. Black plague body T and shield T, not bad. Uh, we get a bandos rope top. I do think if you have a full set of these, that's a task as well. So that's one step closer to that. We got a red beret, another drop there. I also should probably go to somewhere closer to the bank so I can actually deposit this. So this is field five easy clue scrolls completed for 30 points. That's kind of what we've been waiting on a little bit as well. Rainbow and bronze full helm and black T and plate skirt T T willow combo. I think five is gonna be better, so I don't need to like spend time banking black plate legs there. Um, a green elegant and those. Another Sarah rope top. There's ten unique e uh, items from Easy Clues for thirty more points. That's not bad. Uh, and there is ancient rope top as well. So. Pretty good. I just need to make sure I actually pick it up before it disappears. And we're gonna throw it all in here. I'm just gonna be alking the dupes. And that's 15 collection log slots. Also completed. That's very good. Hold up. According to my YouTube chat, we eat the sweet. And that's a 30 pointer right there as well. Beautiful. This might be a lie, but in the past, this was a task as well. So coloring the log and burning the log. I just saw this purple in the background. And I was correct. 30 bonus. So many points in the clue scrolls immediately. This is awesome. Five more easy clue scrolls. Bronze plate skirt G. Iron plate skirt G. And studded body T. Uh, elegant blouse. Black wheezy T. And some lorons. And highway mask. And we now get 35 unique clues from easies. Alongside the black plate body T. So we are hoping for more of those vestment pieces over time. Okay, so I'm gonna probably stop with the easy clues after this because the only extra reward I can have is by opening 75. Actually, that might be a lie because I still need vestment pieces. That is definitely a lie. We got a cane, we got a plate body, and we got the chaps. We get a wizard, G, black. Oh my goodness, that's beautiful. And Zami legs as well. So that's vestment piece right there that we need. Uh, Narda TP, that's gonna be helpful. Iron plate legs. Ooh, golden apron flared trousers. Do we need flared trousers? I don't know. And master scroll book. Can I complete a master actually? I didn't think about that. Wait a second. We're going to try to complete this master. Vase, snowflake. I can do that, right? Oh, wait, but I need to do like a lot of steps. So this might be like hard to complete, but we can attempt it, I guess. This might be the first master clue completion in the game if I successfully do it. Wingstone, doable, doable, we can keep on going, okay. I mean, if I pull something crazy from a master clue, like, how insane would that be? Like, that would be such a crazy way to start a league, I feel like. But it could happen, you know? Pirate's Cove... Wait, does that mean I'll have to fight something? Yeah, Ancient Wizard Trio, I cannot take the Ancient Wizard Trio. Not with, not with my stats, let me tell you that much. We're gonna keep this for now. I know for a fact I cannot do those at the moment. Not with my stats, at least. I think the plan right now is honestly to push for 55 Slayer and then lock our next range mastery. And as soon as I have this range mastery, I think I'll be comfortable. 
to where I can continue this clue maybe. It is time to train a little bit of combat so we can tackle on some combat masteries. The first thing I want to do is I want to get myself a red dehyde set because the one I'm currently using is not really working anymore. So we start off by wearing a full green dehyde and for that I need some defense. So we're actually going to long range train whilst training range whilst doing slayer and honestly I should probably get a blue dehyde set as well. We want to get full red dehyde, so that's 77 crafting. And we want to get full blue dehyde, so that's obviously 71 crafting. What is the best way for me to do this right now? It's to come back to the beginning. Buy the uncut emeralds and chisel them. And the XP per hour should be extremely good right now. Obviously, we are getting 12x XP right now. It's not quite 16x, which you get at the very end. We should be able to push this to 77. And then we can grind out the mobs, craft the gear, get a bunch of points for doing it, and then be stronger when it comes to actually training Slayer. Got all the way to 71 crafting, getting a nice chill 1.8 million XP per hour. Just relaxing right now, it's very late at night. But with that level, I can now make a full blue dehyde armor. So I think I have enough hides in bank, I'm gonna double check, and we're gonna make a blue dehyde set real quick. Now, there is another task when it comes to this, which is to craft 30 bodies, but I think I can leave that one to later. So by tending all of those, I can make myself one body, I can make myself this, and this. And I can already wear two of those pieces, which is perfect, and I think this is where I relax for now, and I just go train a little bit of defensive ranged on the calphites, which is my slayer task. So let's go ahead and do that now. 1000 total level. That gives me big 80 points, but most importantly, it looks cool. And I'm about to be 40 defense as well, meaning I'll be able to get a bunch more points and actually equip the gear I want to equip. So one more defense level to go. Also 38 slayer, this is very slow right now. Uh, we want to get this to 55 for another mastery. That's where things would speed up in combat department. Uh, but also, I am long ranging. That's why it's slow. So right there was level 40 defense. As you can see, there's so many levels happening in the chat. It is hard to keep track. But I can equip full green dehyde. That's tasks. And now I can equip full blue dehyde. And that's more tasks right there. And after this task, I'm also going to work to get myself a full red dehyde to go with that as well. That's kind of the plan right now. We're nearly done with the task. 40 defense is accomplished. 61 range is accomplished. And I could go and get myself a full red dehyde. But honestly, I don't think it's that important at the moment. So I'm just going to kind of continue Slayer for just a little bit. See if I can push to this 55. And then I'll make further decisions. I don't think I've taken a task from Duradel yet, so let's do that as well. Some bandits. Oh man, these tasks might be actually really bad. <laughs> um, right, okay. Do I save Chinchompas? That's what I'm thinking right now. The Chinchompas could be good for this. Honestly, yeah, I think I'm just gonna go ahead now. I mean, we haven't locked our tier 5 relic, therefore we get all the bonus XP. It is time for me to catch 500 chins. I think this is now the best time to do it. And we're gonna then throw those chins to train range and do this task at the same time. I'm extremely happy I waited before doing more skilling. I'm basically getting, instead of 3000 XP, I'm pretty much pulling 4700 XP. That is very good. And we're now also 60 hunter, meaning we can place 4 traps. So 500 chins should not take that long. Looks like with a 12 times XP multiplier, I stabilize at about 3.3 mil an hour at catching chins. We're already 150 deep, so honestly 300 more and we are completed. There we go. I actually just caught 500 chins and got all the way to 75 hunter. If I wanted to push for 80 hunter, I could. And then I could do 50 herbivores. That's also a task. Uh, but I think I'll do that a little bit later. I want to see how good these chins are on the bandits. I'm going to try to wear as much prayer gear as I can. Uh, I don't have any source of prayer potions or something like that. So this might not go as well as I thought. But listen, I'll give it a shot. We'll see how it goes. The problem is I would need to flick to make this worth it. But I fear that if I flick, I die. So I might just do multiple trips. And I want to train it on defense, because getting defense up is going to be by far the hardest thing on this account. Oh, that's apparently a task, killing 30 bandits. I only have 3 prayer points, so it's going to be like it's gonna be dangerous here. Uh, but I'm definitely coming back here. I'm more comfortable flicking now. I don't uh, feel afraid of losing my chins, so I'm coming here with probably my entire stack. 
after this and the XP is phenomenal. My accuracy wasn't the best and I now have Fremenik, so I can go ahead and speak to Ava and take my devices. Ava's accumulator is gonna be extremely good up until the point where we get an assembler. And also this amulet right here, I think I could fix it with amulet of accuracy. For that I would need to kill some imps, I think we can give it a shot. Okay, I feel like getting every single bead right now would take too long and wouldn't be worth it, so I'm gonna skip this and just go with this sort of gear. Okay, and now that we got 60 defense, I'm just gonna be using the rest on speed. And then in the future I'll do magic and defense at the same time with barraging, bursting, whatever it's gonna be. And that's a full task, that wasn't even too bad at all. So in the future I'm probably just gonna barrage slash burst these. And what I'm also gonna do is I'm gonna buy an ancient uh, staff that I still don't have. So spending 80k, we now have an ancient staff. I need 50 magic and 50 attack to wield this, so we are very close. Yeah, we're gonna do a couple of skeletons here, 81 of them. That is not even a couple anymore, I don't even know where to do this. That's the most random 30 points I've ever gotten. I just killed one blue wizard, ended up getting it, easy yoink. I need to find a way to kill skeletons, but really I cannot find a good way to kill skeletons. Never mind, I found skeletons in dig side, I completely forgot that this place exists, we'll be alright. That one came out of nowhere, but we now kill 250 monsters on slayer tasks. I would like to push for 4 more levels, I think it is okay to commit to that, because then we will start hitting extremely fast with range. We're getting dangerously close to 55 slayer, just going to grab another task right now, I hope it's a good one, because I would love to improve my range right now. Moss giants, you know that's not too bad, we can get some mossy keys, a little bit of prayer XP, we'll take that. I decided to AFK fish a little bit and I also got some clue scrolls in the process. I completely forgot that I can get multiple of these whilst being technically AFK. This is gonna be even better once we unlock Karambuans, but the process for that is a little bit annoying. We need to get an Irid first and whatnot. But we have two chances for a hard clue scroll. I think this is doable and we are now over 70 range, meaning that if we get a black dehyde, it can be extremely good for the account. So I'm just gonna AFK a little bit more, eat a little bit of food, and then we're gonna do all of the clue scrolls that we accomplish whilst just AFK fishing here. Okay, these guys are gonna be very easy. It's so good that I don't need any items. Like, look how hard this would be. Oh man, these are the easiest steps. Just taking a look at the casket, you know, teleport to Willow. Oh, this is beautiful. I think we're gonna be having no trouble completing clues, actually. Uh, but I need to open this immediately. This is a hard clue scroll on leagues extremely early on. So let's take a look. Maybe it could be insane. Oh, this is so good. This is so good, by the way. Armadil dehyde boots and Saradome dehyde boots and black dehyde body and crozier and black dragon mask. Like these are fine. These are just uniques. Five uniques from hard clues points, unique from hard clues points and one hard clue scroll points. My goodness, this is gonna improve our setup tremendously. Now, the only unfortunate thing I just noticed is the fact that I'm using Sage's Greaves, so I don't plan on changing boots for those. Uh, but the Black Dehyde body, I mean, that's going on top of us immediately. That is a massive upgrade. Wow, that is solid. Let's try to do one more. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, it's taking me like one minute to complete an entire hard clue. This is gonna be some of the most fun I will ever have playing this video game. I know it for a fact because I plan on doing so many clue scrolls. Ooh, we got another master as well. Another master, I mean... Look, we got a body in the early, we have a rune pickaxe by the way. This is pretty good and we got a kite shield and plate like so I have a full rune set now to go with everything like I go from an absolute squishy boy to an absolute giga tank. I mean we'll take this, we're gonna get 55 slayer, we're gonna get our next range mastery and then we're gonna try to complete both of the master clue scrolls that could be game changing for our account. I didn't expect I would get it in this task, but there's 55 Slayer, we can become strong, and I only have one more to kill, so everything worked out perfectly. Let's get our very next mastery. Okay, the first thing we're gonna need if we want to actually defeat these is we need a Slayer staff. I think this is gonna be my best way to kill Turofs, actually. And outside of that, I guess we can take another task, Basilisks. That's honestly not too bad, we can do that in the future in order to kill that, however... We're gonna need one of the mirror shields right here as well. Um, but I can do this on the way there, just one kill. I think it might even be a task. But for the Slayer Dart to work, we need some death runes and we need some mind runes and we should be chilling. On my way through the cave, I'm also gonna go ahead and just kill uh, the mobs that I know are a task. One of them is to kill a rock crab. 
that's free 10 points. I remember I used to kill so many of these cockatrices. There is 10 points for that one. Fire fiend for a couple of points as well. And we are now 6,000 points exactly, which is beautiful. All right, that's also jelly down. We got a hard clue scroll from the jelly. Let's go. That's really lucky. 30 points for that. We're going to do that immediately after we take care of Turov. Okay, there it is. Another combat mastery unlocked on the account. And we've been waiting for this moment for a long time. We're obviously going 6 range immediately. There's no point to change this at all. But look at this. Ranged attack rate set to 80% running down. So I believe my darts should be one tick and my uh, dorgi should be faster as well. But also, accuracy with all style is now increased by 100%. That is extremely noticeable. We're gonna go ahead and select the range 3 here. And with that, we're also gonna try and take on Scurious now. I'm thinking we need to invest into some knife creations right now. Uh, in order for us to be as strong as possible. But first, I think everybody here deserves another hard clue scroll reward. Who knows? Maybe we get lucky. Oh my goodness, what is this? Zami full helm, vandal sky shield, two root legs, Zami plate legs. Bunch of lorens as well. I mean, nothing I would necessarily want. It is a little bit of money though. I'm not gonna say no to money, to be honest. Would you look at that? We actually have, in just this many clue scrolls, full Zamorak. Wow, 80 pointer right there. Full Zamorak. Wow, that is unexpected in such a short amount of clues. I'm just gonna go ahead and make myself like 20 bronze knives. I'm gonna make steel ones after and I just want to see how Scurious feels. I've never done that boss. I want to see if I can just run in and clear it and if I can we get another mastery. So I think 20 bronze knives should be more than enough with Avas and extra protection. So let's get somewhat of an inventory and give it a shot. See how it goes. I'm getting a genie and I think the place to just throw it in Herblore for now. Maybe farming would be better. I don't really know. Let's just, I mean, it's not that much XP, right? But we'll take five levels for free. Oh, okay. I'm kind of hitting hard. My plan is to just flick. Do I need to play mechanics? Like, I don't know. He's healing. Can I do something with this food? I'm so confused. Okay, rats. Yo, that's good XP though, no? Okay, I got it halfway down already. I genuinely thought this would be hard, by the way. Can I eat his food? Oh, that's what I need to do. All right, we're chilling. Oh, this is kind of satisfying, boss. Because I have these darts. Like, it's kind of working. I'm only doing one kill, by the way. Uh, we're not gonna go for more than that. We did it. Bronze knives used... How many knives did we use? We used one knife. We get some adamant arrows, some big bones, some red meat. We got a little bit of points and we dip out of here. I mean, we'll take that. And with that, we now have a new mastery. And with a new mastery, we can go Ranger 4. Every fifth range hit heals five hit points. So I could just one tick flick and kill Skurias forever, technically. Let's go ahead and select this. Not even hesitate. And let me see if there is any more Skurias tasks. Because if there are, defeat Skurias 10 times and 25 times. I, I say we just send this. It's good XP. Uh, there's some Skurias combat achievements as well. Without taking damage from the following attacks. Tail swipe, falling bricks, pray correctly against the following attacks. And then kill 6 giant rats within the first 3 seconds. Okay, so I need to kill the rats quickly. I'm not gonna be worrying about praying correctly just yet. I'm gonna come back to this in the future. I mean, yeah, I can tank everything. I don't need to pray. This is a little bit strong. I, I am going to go ahead and create steel knives before we continue any sort of PVMing. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I got a Scurious spine. Hold up. Wait, this I can complete one of the tasks with this, I'm pretty sure. We are probably going to create an MSB with this uh, spine and see how it feels. And looks like we also get adamant arrows. So that's probably going to be the best arrows we can use temporarily as well. Uh, let's see what the next drop is. I mean, I'll take some sharks. Let's go ahead and make this MSB. Oh, wait, I actually need a straight up U short bow. Oh, this guy's a scam artist. All right, anyways, uh, I do want to train a little bit of fletching up, a little bit of smithing up, and then utilize our darts. Okay, I think this is gonna work now. Okay, what will I get first? New relic or new area? Let's figure it out. Uh, but yeah, greater demon defeated, we take those. I'm gonna do a bunch of uh, red dragons right now. Uh, due to the fact that I just want to have enough heights where I can create a full set later when I have 77 crafting. Uh, but yeah, this damage is solid. This sustain is insane, man. I can just AFK everything in the game. Okay, the walking volcano was in fact a task. Very cool. Okay, we just did a little Brimhaven sweep. 
in order to get these 30 points and uh, some tasks as well, actually not bad. Dude, the sustainer relic, man. The sustainer relic is carrying us so hard. Okay, we can actually do masters, no problem right now. Oh my god, that's exciting. We could get like big things from this. Oh man, I'm excited about this, guys. We can do master clues. No, what level do I need to go? I don't want to know. Seventh room, I can do this as well. Okay, let's see, will this work? It took us only two minutes to go through this. Maybe here. Please tell me it works. Oh no, they did something and it doesn't work, but it should work. Bro, I have the relic, but it doesn't work. They didn't do it correctly. Uh, yeah, this is really annoying though, because like, I don't want to drop this clue, you know what I mean? But like, if this one doesn't work, there's probably others that don't work as well. Emote follow and Charlie clues no longer need item requirements and this was an emote clue so we're gonna leave this in the bank and hope they fix it i don't know who to contact to have this fixed let's try to do this one then drainer village okay so look at this one same exact idea drainer village right i come here boom instantly works you see what i mean i'm not wearing any items i'm not unequipping any items it works you see what i mean that's how the other one should work as well what i need royal trouble for this one now what now we're fucked uh, I mean, I can try to do this one again now and see what happens. I'm down to try it again, honestly. Oi! We just got a Faro Scepter here. Out of nowhere. It's not even a task. Bro, are you kidding? But now we can test the hypothesis that I needed the Faro Scepter to complete this clue. The other one we couldn't complete. Uh, let's try again here. Yeah, no, this clue is bugged. It doesn't work. But if I wield this... It also doesn't work. This is gonna be the longest detour for a master clue completion, but because we got this scepter, I can actually get all the requirements myself. And because of that, I'm gonna do it. So right now, I just need to unlock an ability to get Manafite robes, and I need to get myself some dice. If I trade him for cloves, beautiful. So Manafite, 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 Manafite. That's all we need. We now have everything to do this clue. Uh, but first, I quickly go save the other one to not lose it. But I have all the resources now. All right, let's see. There is no way this doesn't work now. We have the Faro Scepter and we have a full set of mana fight. I had to do the whole ass minigame for this. Yes, it works. Okay. Look, it may have been bug coded, but we brought it home. Somehow, some way, we can do it. I'm happy. All right. Okay. This is good though. We were able to do this and I can do this one as well. So hopefully this is a master clue completion. Yes, we have a master casket actually. There is no way. I'm pretty happy about this. Now we get to open our very first master. This could be legit insane for the account and it should be good points as well. So here goes nothing. Wait, I don't... I'm not going Zaya, so I don't want a mimic chance. It's literally impossible for me to kill it. No, what did I just get? <laughs> oh, this is so bad. I got drag on everything. What do you... Wait, wait a second. What do you mean? I mean, listen, it's like, it's a bit of money, but this is such a bad master clue reward, by the way. This is absolutely horrible. We just mined a few things with a rune pickaxe now that we got it from a clue. Uh, so that is pretty solid. Yes, this is... <gasps> Guys, I can get prayer potions from here. I can do... Wait, with prayer potion, I can send um, fire cape really, really fast. All I need is like few of those. Oh, and we got 69 agility. Hold up. Uh, this is my second one. We need one for the tasks. This one we just throw away for XP. And the XP we're actually going to put in attack. I want to get 60 attack. So let's try this. 120,000. 120,000? I'm not kidding. We're 56. Let's get one more spine. And we can then equip our dragon weapons. And that's going to be points right there as well. And obviously we need to kill Scurious anyways. This is amazing. Right, I did it completely on accident. I did a perfect efficient threats. Completely not paying attention. Nice. Le now, now give me another spine here real quick. Didn't get a spine. Alright, let's see. Am I able to make this mace? Can you make a bone weapon for me, please? Oh, there we go. Bone mace. Oh, that's a task as well. 30 pointer. I'm happy I did it. I didn't even know that was a thing. Okay, we're gonna attempt a perfect kill here, okay? I don't really know what is expected from a perfect kill, but we will try. I don't know if this ruins my perfect kill if those rats come out. I would hope not. Did I do it? I would assume this is a perfect kill. 
And we did get it. Okay, so the next one, I just need to finish with the bone mace and then we're chilling. We've completed all the combat achievements here. Wait, wait. I just got four levels from just swinging around with a bone mace. Wait a second, this is pretty good. Okay, and that is combat achievement easy tier for 80 points as well. I completely forgot that was a thing. We can now claim a Gomal hilt, I guess, from the Sage in Lumbridge. And we got Scurious completed. All right, there we go. And that finishes the Scurious combat achievements for 80 points. I get a super strength, apparently. So, I mean, I'll take it. I want to kill a few more until I get the Scurious spine and then put it on attack XP. And then we're dipping from here. All right, 17 KC in. We got another Scurious spine. But throughout just doing all these skills, look, I went from what? 30 strength to 57? That is really good. Wait, I can put this on prayer. I can make 120k prayer XP. That is pretty good. <laughs> but like, I don't really care about prayer. I don't plan on getting more. So I'm putting it on attack. And we got it to 61. We can equip our dragon items now. I am going to finish 25 kills before we move on. Okay, we killed 25 Scurious for 30 points only. But the best part is we got decent money. And look at these stats. 60 defense, 61 attack, 66 strength. That is really good. And we are now gonna go ahead and bank. Don't really know, but I'm just gonna wear this, 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 and that. I don't really wanna elg those. Uh, but that's 80 points, by the way, just for free. Okay, we wear full adamant. 30 points. Whilst we're in the PVM mood, I am going to try and complete all the Briofta tasks as well. We have enough mossy keys that we got from the moss giant task. But what I need to do right now is get a weapon poison from Ankus. I didn't think about that, but these guys dropped me heart clues, so we're gonna also do that, but the weapon poison is 1 in 50, so I don't think I'll be here for too long. I killed over 50, didn't get a weapon poison, decided to give up, but first we're gonna do these heart clue scrolls, because we can get some absolutely ridiculous things, we got 6 of them. Ooh, we get a crozier, I do believe there is a task for crozier. Uh, we got some sharks to go with that as well, do I just need to wear it? Let's see. Oh, I need 60 prayer, that's awkward. Double blue dehyde body. That's horrible. We got the black dehyde body again. I don't even know. Bro, it disappeared. But look at this. We got an ancient chaps. We got ancient chaps and the master clue scroll. It is all saved. That is, that is such a good roll. But we got, we got absolutely trolled because we got poison ticked at the same time. Ooh, that's really good, by the way. And we got enchanted hat as well. I don't know if this is a task. It might be, it might not be. I don't think it is. Just 1,070 points left to go until we unlock the next relic. Okay, red dehyde chaps G. I don't know about that one. Oh my, what is this? Nah, buddy, what is this? <laughs> Double Gothix dehyde boots. I'm not gonna wear them right now because I have Sage's Greaves. I have like four different boots now. Oi! Robin Hood hat and Zambi Bracers. Wait, this is such an upgrade for everything that we have, by the way. Zambi Bracers obtained. I don't know if Robin Hood hat is like a... I don't, it's not even a pointer, but like... We look like an absolute demon out here. Look at this, like Zambi Bracers, Ancient Chaps, Robin Hood hat. We're like a good-ass ranger right now, we take those. I thought I was cooking a little bit, but I can get Eyes of Newt from Catable Pons. I can get Medium Clue Scrolls, which we will do because we have done zero. So this is points for free. And I can even get a Irit as well, which I can eventually turn into a Toad Flex. So a lot of possibilities from these uh, Catable Pons over here. I'm just gonna farm them for a few minutes, get a few Eye of Newts, work on our Herblore a little bit, and then see where that gets us. Couple of Flesh Crawlers later, we now have a Grimy Irit. If I don't make a mistake, I can go ahead and clean this in Narda. Uh, we also have Narda teleported directly and right now available, so that's good. We're gonna go back to this later, and I'm also gonna do a medium clue scroll right now, uh, because this could be huge. There it is. A clean Irit leaf. Perfect. Anyways, here's a medium casket. We really want ranger boots. Everything else is kind of whatever. You shortbow could be good as well. Okay. Let's analyze. We got a crozier, you longbow, that's the wrong one. Uh, but we got a white elegant blouse. I don't know if this is what I need. I mean, it's a unique, so we get a little bit more points. That's not too bad. We are once again at Ankus, hoping for a weapon poison. We are now on 130. Basically, we should have seen three by now. Uh, but we are at least stacking up some clue scrolls while we do it. So I guess it's not the worst thing we are doing here. Hey! 
It exists! The weapon poison! Oh my god, it's been so long, man. 223 KC was the lucky number. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, so that's the first one down. Okay, I think I just finished this one, because why not? So that's gonna be the kill count as well. No drop on this one, 30 points though. And now I don't care if I get poisoned. Now what I wanna do is I need to kill it while it is poisoned. Gotta love me some combat achievements. There we go. A slow death. Beautiful. Not bad. 100 nats. We get law runes, but there we go. Protection is also obtained. Now I can actually turn it off. We have two more options for Briofta Essence. If not, we're just gonna run away with all the tasks. Have you always gotten XP in instances in leagues? Or have they added this recently? Because I could swear in the past you would not get XP in instances. Okay, I mean, we got another Mossy Key, but those are all the combat achievements completed on this boss as well. Oh, look, we got another Irit. That's crazy. Uh, okay, we didn't get it. So, 8kc, no Briofta staff. Unlucky, never lucky, always unfortunate. Well, I need a Chef's Head in order to complete the next step of the Heart Clue. So, we might as well do it uh, there. And now, it's gonna let me TP there. Interesting, you need to actually wear this to get inside. I get 30 points bonus. I mean, not bad, I guess. Thank you. Boom. Pointer. 30. I mean, listen, we'll take it. 30 points is 30 points. We also have five clues already made. Beautiful. All right, so as promised, 17 hard clue scrolls. This hopefully will give us a bunch of points. We start on 920, uh, but also it can give us a lot of money from just straight up Alcabus. Uh, we're looking for an MSB, full black set, same type of ancient gear, I think. Just let's just open and then we're gonna cook. Third age, obviously. Anyways, let's see what do we get. Start off with Zami, Rune, and Ancient. Ancient is new. Any uniques are solid because uniques can lead to more items. Blue scrolls are good. MSB. We got an MSB. That's points right there. That is 80 points. That's huge. Uh, let's go more. Nice. Okay. Armadil Dehyde Body. That is really good. And Sara Bracers. I already have Zami Bracers. Now Sara Bracers on top of that. And we got the body. We're looking beautiful. And we can do the post repeat. I think this is points. So I'm gonna go do it. A uh, small interruption. Uh, hey, it was worth it. 30 points. See, I knew it. I wasn't kidding. So that's Zami Dehyde and Zami Stole with Cyclops Head with Ancient Plate Body. Oh my goodness, so many items. Anyways, we still have 13 more clue scrolls. We keep on. Oh my goodness. Okay, Ancient Coif as well. Bandos, Bandos. These are all uniques. Six uniques in one clue scroll, by the way. And we look at this. 80 points for filling 30 hard clue collection lock slots. That is really, really good. Even more points there. Only 7.30 to go. Uh, rune longsword. Another armadihide body. Literally a dupe there. Probably just gonna alg that one. Another master with a Tazarket ornament kit. I think this is extremely good, right? And we also got 50 uniques from hard for 80 more points. So this was really worth it. We're getting a bunch of masters we can also do. I need to put this onto the thingy. And that's not everything. We still have 10. So this could keep on getting better. Okay, we got another enchanted robe. I have the helm and the robe. So maybe there's a task when it comes to this as well. And we get a rune defender ornament kit. Another ornament kit. There we go. Enchanted top as well. And berserker necklace ornament kit. We're just pulling absolutely every item. Zami and Sara Chaps with another MSB. Okay, okay. I mean, can't really utilize it. What is this? Another Tezatket Om ornament kit. Wait, Armadil Dehyde shield. This is so good, by the way. And we got the Zami Chaps and Zami boots. And I have Zami bracers. So if I get Zami body and Zami coif, we can finish it. But this... Shield is so good, by the way. Like, this is insanely good for me. This has been a phenomenal opening already. Uh, Black Dehyde Chaps. Uh, another MSB. Another Gothics. More Purple Suits. I do think I need Black Vem Braces. And I can complete a full Black Set as well. This is just a bunch more Uniques. I don't know if I've already completed all the Unique possibilities. More Chaps. Gothics Coif. We have three more. We got a Thieving Bag, apparently, as well. Gothics Bracers. And another Robin Hood hat. This is the second Robin Hood hat. Oh man, and that's uh, 25 heart clues completed as well. That's what I was going for. Last one, right here, right now. For a third age. Rune Defender Ornament Kid, Sara, Amulet of Go- Wait! 
That is massive! We got Amulet of Glory trimmed. This is absolutely huge, by the way. Look, this is another task. And my best in slot amulet for a little bit of time as well. So that's 30 bonus points. And this completes an absolute giga chat setup here. But that is really good, man. We got so many points from this as well. Look, 500 to go. I'm gonna grab my Alex. And I also need to mine a red topaz. So I'm gonna do that whilst I have this glory. I might as well. Oh, we got a clue geode while mining. That's apparently a task as well. Hey, there it is. 10 points. I thought this was a million at least. Can I pay you a permanent access? And here's a million. It's a million down the drain for 200 points. We're now only 210 away from the next relic. I really want to unlock this in this video. So we're going to do last push for the 200 points. Attack potion. And it's a task. And we got to 16. I can, I can figure something out here. Like, I'm, I'm sure I got this. And that is 20 herb lore. I can now rub this antique lamp, use it on herb. How much XP? 60,000. It was absolutely worth it. I am so happy I did this, by the way. We are now 45 herb. All the problems are solved. Total level, apparently, we just got 120 points away till the next relic. We have saved everything. Beautiful. Look, I just came in for a quick kill. Um, we get, you know, 30 points, we get beginner clue scroll, and now I can go get myself a Nezi helm, and we are nearly there. Okay, and that's a Nezi's not helm for 30 more points, we're getting super close, 60 points away. Oh, I just accidentally got my first 90, and that basically pushes us all the way to the brand new relic. So there it is, I guess we've gone and done it. Pretty cool option, you have yourself a total recall. Which basically teleports you back, perma full HP, like it's it's good. Look at this, this item can be used to store any single coordinate alongside your hit points. Prayer and special attack. And basically teleports you back to that location and that day, like it's so good. The problem of this is it can't teleport you to instances. And because of that, it's kind of bad. But banker's note, ladies and gentlemen, this item will allow you to note and unnote items anywhere in Gilenor, including in instances. You can manually use items on a banker's note to unnote them and note, like it's just good, okay? We've used this in the last league, it's phenomenal. I will demonstrate it as we get it, but banker's note is my choice. So I'm gonna select this banker's note. And with that, I do believe this is where we end today's episode. We now need 7,840 points. How am I going to get that? In order to get ourselves the next tier 7. This is definitely going to be a project for another episode. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, consider giving a video a like. Maybe subscribe. Help me reach 110,000 subs. It would be sick to achieve that. And there it is. The banker's note. If you want to know how this works, I will demonstrate it all in the next episode. I'll see you guys there. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good one and bye-bye.